Researchers at UC Davis are using a new experimental procedure to treat a rare spinal condition. The team performing its first human trials using stem cells in the womb to treat spina bifida. Thanks for staying with us here at 530. I'm Adrian Moore. And I'm Curtis Ming. CBS 13's Brady Howblive spoke with a patient about this medical breakthrough. What did I do wrong? Why is this happening to my baby? Just days after Michelle Johnson's 22 week ultrasound, she got a call from her radiologist. His voice was trembling and he said, I need to talk to you about your 20 week ultrasound. Johnson learned her baby had spina bifida, a rare spinal condition where the bone surrounding the spinal cord doesn't form properly. I, I didn't know very much at all, other than it causes paralysis from the hips down. It can also result in lifelong walking and mobility problems. The defect happens in roughly 1,400 babies each year. And without many treatments, Johnson was referred to a new experimental procedure that can help treat the condition. We love it when breakthroughs make big differences. Johnson was accepted into the CURE trial. After decades of research, Diane Farmer is leading a team of more than 40 researchers in performing the world's first human clinical trials using stem cells derived from placentas to treat spina bifida in utero. They do that by applying the stem cells to the spinal cord in the developing fetus. The stem cells help us um, repair it, regenerate it. Farmer says it could take years to find out the efficacy of the surgery, but so far, the first two procedures have proven to be safe and successful. We won't be able to do the rigorous analysis until the babies get a little older. For now, Johnson says her baby, named Toby, is normal, wiggling his feet and smiling, giving her and her family hope for his future. I feel incredibly blessed and fortunate and lucky. Well, the CURE trial is available, but spots are extremely limited. If you would like to apply, go to our website, cbs13.com.